We'll call the June 11th, 2021 Board of Selectmen meeting to order. It's now 9.02. We're being filmed by Area 58 and we are um, on Zoom as well. So we'll start off with Pledge. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so for this morning's meeting, we're going to go right into executive session first. Um, so we will be discussing all contracts and um, I believe we'll be discussing the patrol officers, obviously. We may, um, well, you know what, say all because we have the issue of the Juneteenth. Okay, so we will move into executive session for sergeant, patrol officers, firefighters, highway, mixed unit, police chief, fire chief, all unions at Silver Lake Regional School District and Halifax Elementary as discussion strategy with respect to collective bargaining in an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining position of the town. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Uh, yeah. All in favor, Troy? Yes. Ashley? Yes. Myself, so, yes. And Gordon, I'm going to just explain. We got a couple of people online. Okay. The board of selectmen is going to, into executive session to discuss uh, contract negotiations with unions. The board is coming back into public session. We do have a fair amount of normal, regular business, non executive session business to do, but we do not at this point know what time we're going to go, come back in um, to public session. So I am going to have to knock the people out of the room if, unless they leave already. Um, the recording is going to stop for the time being. Like I said, you know, you could sit in the waiting room if you'd like and we'll get you back in once we are back in the regular session, but um, you won't be able to hear or see the, the executive session going on. So I'm cutting the recording now and I give you all a minute and give you a minute for the two people who are online to move to leave and then they can go back into the waiting room if they wish. I'm going to I'm going to exit out Charlie. Okay. From for the from the camera. Okay. Okay, so we're back from executive session. Um agenda So we have um, line item transfer request, $14,000 from water wages to water superintendent salary. I'm assuming this is for vacation. Yes. Okay. Right. So because this is because Keith Swanson is retiring as water superintendent. He's doing that before the end of the fiscal year. So the town has to pay out any accrued vacation that he's not used both for um, anything he had carried over from fiscal 20 to 21 that he did use, but also any accrual for the year we're in now, which would be basically his full year of vacation. So I get that right, Sandy? Yeah. Okay. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous? Okay. And um, we'll have the forms yeah, to sign. Yeah, I know. I, I thought that I should have Yeah, see me downstairs. There's something there. Okay. Uh, line item. Transfer request $2,000 from article motorcycle to police vehicle maintenance. Right. The motorcycle article was specific, had specific language limiting what it could be used for in terms of the motorcycle. And I guess the department um, without, before transferring the money or checking to see what, how it could be used, made a decision to in fact paint the vehicle, um, and which obviously caused an additional expense. Um, so they're asking that money that we haven't used in the motorcycle article be moved to the vehicle maintenance articles to pay that bill. Obviously the alternative is that um, they still pay it out of the vehicle maintenance account, but something else doesn't get paid or something like that. Okay. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Unanimous. Line item transfer request $1,000 from police station maintenance to police vehicle maintenance. So moved. Second. Is this the same issue with this one? Or is there? I, I'm not 
sure if that's it or they're just trying to make sure they make it through the end of the year. Yeah, if they didn't have enough money for the painting, my suspicion is they probably don't have enough money to get through the rest of the year. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Road opening, 17 White Island Road. You should have. Do they know why? So we have a road opening for White Island Road to install a new gas service. Was uh, requires one detail: highways okay, waters okay, conservation okay. Building inspectors says needs a trench permit. Okay. Is there a motion to approve with those stipulations? So moved. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay, next up we have a road opening request for um, 160 Home Street to install a new gas service. Conservation's okay, water's okay, highway's okay. Police request one detail and building inspector's comment is trench permit required. With those stipulations, okay? I'll move it. Is there a second? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so next up, we have police department rules and regulations. I didn't know if the board was ready for discussion, whether it wanted to have the chief come in at a future time, whether it wanted to approve them. I had a quick conversation with John saying that they hadn't been updated in a really long time. Yeah, about 45 years. <laughs> um, has everybody else had a chance to review them? Yeah, I did. I don't have any issues with anything that's said. All right, is there a motion to approve them? So move it. Sir. Okay, all in favor, aye. All right. Okay, travel policy. We right, have. this is one of the items that the auditors had recommended that we sort of um, make something a bit more formal. We've had it sometimes attached to the food policy that the board had instituted you know, 10 or 15 years ago. Um, we, the tr you'll see this more in larger communities where there's more um, expenses related to travel, but it's good to have it in place so that um, town employees know what can be reimbursable and what cannot be reimbursable. Um, that's why the auditors wanted uh, something more formal to be added to the town's financial policies. Has everybody had a chance to review? I'll move it as written. A second. All in favor, aye. aye. Okay, pass this unanimous. So payment in lieu of taxes for Sinkopfa, uh, Franklin Street Solar Field. There are two documents. They're, I believe, down. I get the yeah, it's on the Okay. Um, the, and there are two documents. One is the final document related to the actual payment in lieu of taxes pilot agreement. That's going to go to the registry of deeds, so that basically it's a hand waving where if someone looks up that parcel, they'll find this document so that anybody who's interested for some reason in that parcel will know there's a pilot agreement associated with that parcel in the solar field. The other is for financing purposes for the developer. Um, it's basically saying here, here's the outline of the pilot agreement and what the payment plan is and such so that if they're looking for financing um, one way or the other associated with the development, they can hand this to anybody who is looking for financing information. It's not so specific to us. I mean, we have that as part of our pilot but it's an associated document that can be presented to any financing organization. So what I would be looking for is for the board to approve both of those documents. We'll get them signed today and get them sent out. Um, is there a motion to approve? What, what, what does this how, what responsibilities do we have in this again, Charlie? We don't have any responsibilities. We've already, the board had already, working with the board of assessors, 
had worked out the pilot agreement for Franklin Street. It was approved by the um, town meeting, I believe, a year or two ago. Their project was just slow. I don't know if because of the pandemic or because of financing, but it took for a while for them to get online. So um, these documents are sort of the end game for um, getting all the documents put in. Um, in the proper places, one will go to the registry of deeds and one will go back to uh, the developer that they can show uh, anybody who they need to get financing from in the future what the financing structure of the pilot agreement is. Oh, thank you. I'll move it. I second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, aye. 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 For what the pilot or what this pilot paper meant. Is it in the bowl downstairs? No, it's after. Okay. Um, well, it's an assignment for duties and liaisons oh, yeah. um, for the selectmen. I didn't know if the board wanted to go through those and make assignments today. I'm going back downstairs for a minute. And that's also, you have the policy on the sale of surplus properties to uh, update what we should be doing when we're putting out. And by property, it's more, it's more um, not the real estate, but more the uh, real pro the uh, material non-land <laughs> property. I need to go back down to get a copy of the fraud risk assessment um, uh, proposal that I want to recommend to the board. But okay. you can do those first two, and I'll be back up in a minute. Uh, so yeah, everyone have this spreadsheet? Yep. Yeah. So, ADA coordinator is listed as Charlie. Animal control officer is listed as Troy. Troy, do you want to keep that or you want to? Yeah, I can keep that. Okay. Everything, but you get uh, to get me down for the fire department. Okay. And I think that's you right now. That's been me. Yeah. Capital planning committee, didn't we put? Oh, didn't we put Ashley on I that? I think we did get a couple of months. Yeah, so, okay. That's all I know, yeah. Okay. That's Ashley, you said? Yeah. Ashley is capital planning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I voted that a couple weeks ago. Um, cemetery? Uh, I could take that. You want that, Troy? Okay. So, it, Chief Procurement Officer is Charlie. Finance Committee, Ashley, do you want that or do you, do you guys want me to take it? You can do that. Okay. Halifax Emergency Management, I can take that. I'll take by West Okay. Highway, Ashley, do you want that? Sure. Um, Troy, you're fine with MBTA? Yep. I'll, I'll take the alternate. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, Troy, you're good with Memorial Day, Momponset. Yeah. OCPC delegate and advisory, correct? Yep. I need an alternate. I'll be out. Okay. Charlie is listed for the health insurance plan, and we need somebody for government study. I'll okay. take that. Yeah. Ashley, do you want traffic safety or Troy? I'll do it. Okay. Um, Ashley, do you want to take wage and personnel? Yeah. Although, where all of us are now, yes, so. Yes, all are now. So, that's a You can take that off. Can I take that off? Yeah. Okay, so cross that off. And do you, do you want highway and cemetery? Whatever you want me to. And right now, I've been doing firefighters, not Troy.
All right. Is that it for now? So we don't have mixed unit in there. Right, because it was Tom. I don't know how you want to assign that. So mixed unit. Usually, the, I mean, Tom was doing both highway and mixed unit. So usually, what's happened is that one person does fire, one does police, and one both contracts sergeants and patrol officers, and the third person did highway. Um, because asked, because it was asked me, Tom also did mixed unit along with highway. But I'm happy to whoever wants to take it, you know, it's fine. So. Well, I can. You can leave it together. I'll do them. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's Gordon has fire. Okay. So, okay. Just... We don't have any of our whole colony. Okay. What's up? Which one? Whole colony planning council, all CPC. We, we, well, we have a delegate, which is you, and then we have to, um, do we have no colony planning council? We have representative. We, well, we, ha we have to get a representative, but that's separate, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, and then we have the surplus equipment procedures. Yes, yeah. The idea being, I mean, we've tried to be transparent in the past when we're selling property to get the information out. Um, this helps formalize what locations, what venues we will be putting out notices and such when we're putting out. Um, property for sale, whether it's vehicles or uh, something else. Doesn't mean a, we'll still, for instance, for the vehicles, and for when Steve Hayward does that surplus list, we'll still do the online auctions and such. It simply will make sure that on the town website that we have an announcement that we put it up on the other venues so people are aware of it. Okay. But this has worked well in the past, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, this way, you know, anybody who has any interest in it can find out about it. No one can say, well, if I had known about it, uh, I would have put a bid in or I would have, you know, attended the auction or something. I'm trying to avoid that from happening. All right. Second. All right. Um, or did it, do you actually need a vote? Oh. Sorry, I was looking at the agenda. <laughs> All those in favor, aye? Aye. Unanimous. Next for the, up. For the fraud risk, I looked at the two proposals. Um, in terms of cost, one was the 33-2, that was uh, 65, 65th North Group, and the other was at 50,000. But I went back and when I was reviewing the RFP, I noted that the I did ask for 50,000, which town meeting approved, but there might be residual expenses besides the straight contract um, for that reason and also I don't see that um, the other contract is any superior to the one or the proposals from 65th North Group. I would strongly recommend that the board approve awarding the contract to that firm, 65th North, um, for the fraud risk assessment. The fraud risk assessment, again, going back to the auditors, they had recommended this during the previous audit as something the town should go through. This is not checking individuals to see whether fraud is existing right now. What it is, is reviewing the town's policies and procedures, both physical and computer and whatever else, to say, okay, here's where you need to get a little tighter to make sure whether it's cash, whether it's physical items, um, both don't leave the building, don't leave the town's property, et cetera. Um, so they look for weaknesses in how we're operating right now and make recommendations how to improve or less, in essence, lessen our chances of having fraud happen. And we do have some advantages already. Our system is not so automated, especially in terms of transfers and in terms of elect special electronic fund transfers where you've seen communities think they're doing something 
that they should be doing in terms of sending money to person X because they think everybody's signed off on it. Luckily for us, because Sandy and myself and uh, Pam and Ducci all are within a few hundred feet of each other, we don't rely on it. If we see a weird email like that, all we do is go down the other end of the building and say, hey, what's going on with us? And I don't think we've had a case like that here. We've seen it. We've had emails like that come in saying, hey, this is Pam. I think I need $10,000 sent to such and such. But we haven't fallen for that because we know each other personally and can find each other. But that's, you know, obviously it's one of the situations that a fraud risk assessment would show whether we have something in place to prevent that from happening. But there's all other types of fraud risk that um, they can make recommendations on. So is there a motion to approve contract? Yes. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Unanimous. So we got ambulance abatements uh, sent in by the fire department for May of 2021 for 129,233.66. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor, aye. 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 And then Gordon, you're going to take yourself out of the next yeah, one so in Green Earth Canada. I recuse myself from the host community agreement for Green Earth Canada. So, yeah, I don't know whether the two of you want to reach a decision, whether you want to punt this back to the 22nd. Um, there's nothing, as far as I know, in state law that says simply because someone proposes a host community agreement, the town is obligated to say so. I think you know it's the board's judgment call, not just on zoning issues or site plan review, which are being done by the planning board, but whether um, it's worth it to the community to have this establishment in here, given the financing of the host community agreement, given the obligations by each of the parties. Um, it's one of the reasons why you ask for the public comments um, for it. Um, or against it or whatever, you know, comments on the HCA, you could make a decision to say yes, you could make a decision to say, well, um, talk to Larry, we want these additional clauses put in, um, or you have additional questions about the HCA, or you could say no. Um, what are the ramifications if we did you say no? Well, then they cannot go to the Cannabis Control Commission to get a provisional license. They need an HCA in order to go up there and get the license. It, they can still go through the zoning process. There's nothing preventing that from happening. But there, as we've talked about, there are three pieces of the puzzle they need to put together. One is zoning, where they need a site plan review approved, and they need a special permit from the planning board. The second is the HCA. They can't operate with the HCA, but it's also that tied into the provisional license from the state. They can't get a provisional license without the HCA. And the board is not, you know, the town and the board have not said, we want to limit the number of licenses or we want to, we're going to say no. I mean, the town said yes to allowing an industrial district that said yes to allowing it, again, with special permit, in the commercial district. This is a commercial property. It's zoned that way. It's allowable as long as they get the zoning permits. But simply because someone proposes something, any more or less than a liquor store, for that matter, um, or you know, a, pouring, a restaurant with a pouring license, there's no obligation to say yes. I would say that you'd want to be on the record as to if you're saying no or you're saying yes, why you're saying that. But um, other than that, I have some very strong feelings about it. We've, I've got more against people coming up against it than I have for it in the community. And they, they, after all, they've got to live it's on their doorstep. You know, I'm prone to say no at this time. So the reason would be if the board said no, would be there was significant opposition to this location. Um, due to its proximity to the residents, lighting worries, traffic worries, litter worries. Or, liquor store. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I agree. So if you want to go that direction, someone should move to say that the board's not going to agree to the proposed HCA. So in second, then you could have a vote on it. I move that we not 
by, by the situation that's come forward for it. Okay, so you're not going to approve the HCA that right. has been proposed? I second. For, to all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So I'll communicate that to the applicant and then probably I'll make sure, I'll make sure that Larry Mayo knows um, and go on from there. Uh, the LED street light retrofit, I'm going to ask to bounce that to the 22nd. I'm still getting more information from uh, National Grid. Uh, the request for change in operating hours for Walmart, that's a decision that's for the planning board because it's tied into their site plan. Um, back when the site plan was approved in the early 90s for Walmart before they opened up, the operating hours were specified in that. Um, so any modification to the operating hours would be a modification of the site plan, which would have to go before the planning board. Um, Plymouth County Advisory Board membership for fiscal 22. Is the board assigning Troy to continue to be the town's representative? Yes. Okay. Yes, Gordon? Is, no. As long as he wants to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's the... Um, OUI, meaning uh, operating under an influence last street data. We get these reports periodically from the AG's office, we have a clean sheet, no problems for the last several months. Um, nobody pulled over saying that they've had their last drink here in Halifax. We have, most of the time we get a clean sheet. We, it's been a while since we've gotten one that said that they had been at a restaurant here in Halifax. I'm still following up over National Grid about the sporadic power outages that have been reported from time to time during the last month. Uh, the electric vehicle charging station agreement, I'm going to ask to bounce to the 22nd because I'm reviewing that with our consultant, Guardian Energy, and with OCPC. Um, make sure the stipulation that we have, if there's obligations and stipulations for the town that we have sufficient resources to follow them. And then 163 Plymouth Street, that's the problem property down there. Um, there's a se separate matter between, I think, um, Fannie Mae and um, then the uh, possible occupant or whatever, but I believe they've now been able to get the court to issue a cleanup order that's directed specifically to the applicant, the occupant or said occupant.